India is preparing to undertake a major modernization effort in its military aviation sector with plans to acquire 200 new light helicopters designed to serve both the Army and the Air Force. The initiative aims to replace aging Chetak and Cheetah helicopters, which have long been a mainstay of India's light aviation fleet, while simultaneously expanding the armed forces' operational capabilities across diverse and challenging environments. From the scorching deserts of western India to the extreme high-altitude conditions of the Himalayas, the need for versatile and reliable rotary wing platforms has become increasingly urgent. The announcement, made by the Indian Ministry of Defence on August 11, 2025, marks a significant step in ensuring that India's light helicopter fleet is equipped to meet the evolving demands of modern military operations. The request for information, RFI, issued by the ministry outlines the government's interest in acquiring 120 helicopters for the Army and 80 for the Air Force. The document seeks to define precise operational requirements, determine the appropriate procurement category, and identify potential industrial partners, both domestic and international. The process also emphasizes the possibility of joint production agreements and technology transfer, reflecting India's broader goal of fostering indigenous defense manufacturing under the Make in India initiative. The ministry has scheduled a meeting with prospective suppliers on August 22, 2025, with a submission deadline set for October 18, 2025. This procedure follows the Defense Acquisition Procedure, DAP, 2020, which prioritizes local industry participation, non-binding trials, and a two-stage evaluation to ensure cost-effectiveness and operational suitability. The envisioned helicopters are expected to perform a wide range of critical roles. In addition to reconnaissance and surveillance duties, they must be capable of transporting small rapid response teams, conducting medical evacuations, supporting logistics, and integrating with unmanned aerial vehicles for manned-unmanned teaming MUMT, operations. High-altitude performance is a central requirement, with helicopters expected to operate at altitudes of up to 6,000 meters under demanding conditions such as ISA plus 20 degrees Celsius. Operational versatility is further enhanced by the need for advanced avionics, compatibility with night vision goggles, modular weapon integration, and adherence to international standards for safety and environmental protection. Twin-engine configurations are preferred to ensure operational safety, particularly in the challenging terrain of the Himalayas and other remote regions. Additional requirements include crash-resistant airframes, reinforced seating, modern communication systems such as software-defined radios, and integration with India's indigenous NAVIC satellite navigation network. Several helicopter models are under consideration to fulfill these requirements. The leading domestic contender is the Light Utility Helicopter, LUH, developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. The LUH has been designed under the Indigenous Design, Development and Manufacture framework and already meets many of the operational criteria specified in the RFI. This 3.12-ton single-engine helicopter is powered by the Shakti, 1U engine, jointly developed by HAL and Safran Helicopter Engines, and has demonstrated operational capability at altitudes exceeding 6,500 meters. It can transport up to six personnel or carry a one-ton sling load, covering essential troop transport and medical evacuation requirements. More than 50% of the LUH's components are manufactured domestically, aligning with India's strategic goal of self-reliance in defense production. The aircraft features a modern glass cockpit, a digital flight control system, and a health and usage monitoring system, HUMS, providing operational resilience and safety in extreme conditions. HAL has also invested in a dedicated production facility at Tumkuru, Karnataka, initially capable of producing 30 to 40 helicopters annually, with scalability to meet the projected requirement of 200 units. 
The LUH has already obtained initial operational clearance and is undergoing military certification trials with the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification, SEMILAC. However, its single-engine configuration remains a point of scrutiny given the RFI's preference for twin-engine platforms. The emphasis on twin-engine designs opens the door for foreign manufacturers to participate in the program through industrial partnerships or local assembly arrangements. Among the foreign contenders is Russia's Ka-226T, a twin-engine helicopter specifically designed for high-altitude operations. The Ka-226T has previously been considered under potential local assembly agreements, although program delays and geopolitical uncertainties have affected its prospects. European manufacturers are also in the running, with Airbus presenting the H-135, a twin-engine helicopter widely used for surveillance, medical evacuation, and light transport. The H-135 could benefit from existing cooperation agreements between Airbus and Indian industry. American manufacturer Bell offers the versatile Bell 429, a twin-engine platform suitable for reconnaissance, evacuation, and support roles. Italy's Leonardo AW109 combines speed, modularity, and adaptability, providing an option for missions ranging from surveillance to transport, contingent on industrial collaboration agreements. The inclusion of these foreign options reflects India's pragmatic approach to balancing domestic development with the advantages of proven international designs. The strategic rationale behind the acquisition is multifaceted. India faces a wide spectrum of operational challenges, from counterinsurgency and border security missions to high-altitude deployments in the Himalayas and the Siachen Glacier region. The existing fleet of Chetak and Cheetah helicopters is increasingly limited in range, payload, and operational flexibility, making modernization essential. By procuring new light helicopters, the armed forces aim to enhance mobility, improve rapid response capabilities, and ensure better interoperability with modern technologies, including unmanned aerial systems. High-altitude performance, safety, and versatility remain central to operational planning, particularly in extreme weather and difficult terrain where mechanical reliability is critical. The acquisition program also has significant implications for India's defense industrial base. By emphasizing local production, House LUH program supports domestic employment, skills development, and technological advancement. The integration of foreign designs through potential industrial partnerships could further enhance India's manufacturing expertise, facilitating knowledge transfer and establishing long-term production capabilities within the country. This approach aligns with the government's broader strategic objective of fostering a robust and self-reliant defense industry capable of meeting both national and export demands. The evaluation process will require careful consideration of multiple factors, including technical performance, operational suitability, cost, and potential for local industrial collaboration. The selection of a helicopter platform will shape India's light aviation fleet for decades, influencing strategic capabilities and force readiness. While HAL LUH remains the most prominent domestic candidate, the preference for twin-engine designs ensures that foreign manufacturers have a realistic opportunity to contribute to the modernization program. The Ministry of Defense will need to weigh the benefits of indigenous development against the operational advantages offered by established international platforms, balancing national industrial goals with strategic and tactical requirements. As India moves forward with this ambitious acquisition plan, the broader impact on military readiness, operational flexibility, and defense industry growth will be significant. The procurement of 200 light helicopters represents more than a replacement program, it is a strategic initiative that reinforces the armed forces' ability to operate effectively across the country's varied terrain and climatic conditions. By prioritizing high-altitude performance, multi-role functionality, and modern technological integration, India is taking proactive steps to ensure its light aviation fleet remains capable, resilient, 
and ready to meet the demands of contemporary military operations. The final decision, expected after rigorous evaluation and trials, will have lasting consequences for both India's defense capabilities and its domestic aviation industry, signaling a new era of helicopter operations in one of the world's most challenging environments. This program underscores India's commitment to modernizing its armed forces while simultaneously advancing the national defense manufacturing sector. The combination of domestic development, technological innovation, and potential international collaboration positions India to enhance its operational effectiveness across multiple mission profiles. Whether in reconnaissance, medical evacuation, troop transport, or integration with unmanned systems, the new fleet of light helicopters will provide the armed forces with a versatile, high-performance platform capable of meeting the strategic demands of the 21st century. With production facilities scaling up and foreign collaborations being explored, India is poised to transform its light helicopter capabilities and strengthen its position as a regional defense leader.